obviously I want to get on the podium but most of all I just want to do my best um, and just do the best I can. Um, I started cycling when I was 13 years old, um, but on the track when I was 18, I moved to Miami because in Suriname, we don't have a track. But I always loved cycling since I was young. I just never knew it was a sport because it's not very big in Suriname. But once I started, I just fell in love with the sport. So racing BMX at the age of six years old and then uh, progressed through mountain bike road and then finally at the age of 14 started riding track cycling a uh, track bike um, my dad's friend was throwing out an old track bike and basically got my hands on that and yeah, that was a story a, you know, kind of the first ride on it and i was hooked actually about two and a half years ago i got invited for a training camp in here in switzerland and after that camp they invited me to stay here to train for the Olympics and it was a very quick decision because it was just way better than what I had in Miami so I decided to stay here and train towards the Olympics. Bridge and I, we, my manager, we've been we've been traveling the world for the last five years trying to qualify for the games and I've been here 18 months now. Um, progress of training has been wonderful. Good group of riders that are around me. I mean, it's like racing world champs at every single training session. Um, so it's been, it's been good fun, been really hard, but uh, been very rewarding at the same time. In Miami, I used to train by myself most of the time, just me and my coach. So just to have teammates that keep pushing you and just this feels very good. It just makes you a lot better. Um, training amongst friends and just having people to hang out with during training. I've never had that before and going to races with a team, with a mechanic, just to have help, it's been amazing. When I was in Miami, it was just me and my coach. So yeah, it's a big difference. Craig is, is very, um, very quiet actually. He's kind of those coaches where he goes, this is what you need to do. Let's go and do it. It's like, whether you do it or not, it's in your hands. He's done his job and we as riders need to take ownership. So I think from a rider's perspective, um, it's good for us to grow within that and actually take the ownership of what we need to do and the dream that we have uh, set in front of us. So it's just a case of Craig being a great helping hand in the sense of there is the tools that you have. Let's see what you do with them. Throughout the years, there's always been riders that have that have stood out. I mean, Marvulli, uh, Chris Hoy, Craig McLean. Um, they've always been been riders that have stood out, and it's kind of been a case of we would like to. We, I would like to one day fill those shoes. Not that that's possible, but create my own pathway and, and create my own legacy in order to to be at that level, to race at that level. I've always wanted to go to the Olympics, but coming from Suriname, that seems like a very impossible dream to have. But I think when I saw Nijain Phillips, he's from Trinidad at the Olympics, then I knew like it should be possible. And that's when I really started working towards it. To have fun and do as best as I possibly can. I think, uh, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, once in a lifetime spectacle. So let's savor every single moment that we possibly can. Um, obviously, I want to get on the podium, but most of all, I just want to do my best um, and just do the best I can. If there's any motivation that I could give anybody is every, every difficulty is an opportunity for growth. There's always going to be a mountain to climb, so start climbing and enjoy the view. Um, just do your best. You can achieve anything you put your mind to. Just work hard and never give up.